all right guys welcome back to my channel if you haven't already please like and subscribe today we're going to be making an antler handle ball starter for muzzle loading um, i'm going to be using an antler shed that i found some time ago um, every now and again i find antler sheds um, you know within antler shed season usually around the first week of march um, but this is a ball starter you can get these at walmart or pretty much any hunting goods store you have the nub end here to seat the ball and then the long end to actually drive the ball uh, down the muzzle um, and i've already cut the base of this antler off um, because i'm going to use the base as the actual handle um, i've used a razor saw and just cut it off by hand um, but i think it will make a nice handle and uh, i actually started recording or I didn't start recording and already did the work, just wasn't thinking about it. Uh, but I did already drill a hole here and I've been using this flat bastard file to kind of smooth out the edge of the antler. I, all I had to do really was just take a drill bit. Um, I used my fingers. You can use a drill, but the center of this antler was soft enough to use my fingers. Um, I used an undersized drill bit because as you drill, it will leave a slightly oversized hole, which ended up being perfect for this brass dowel. And uh, like I said, I just used my fingertips, drilled it by hand until um, I hit a hard spot and I stopped. And it was about an inch down, um, which was plenty for me. Um, I felt like that was perfect. Um, and these brass dowels here, um, you can get in any assorted size. Um, I bought a kit of them years ago. I used the smallest size as um, uh, barrel lug pins. Um, but this one, I'm going to use the largest one I have for this 40 caliber rifle. I used the bastard file to rough up the end that's going to be inserted into the handle. Um, just to give a coarse surface area for the epoxy to adhere to. And the epoxy I'm going to be using is a marine grade epoxy. It's very durable, but more importantly, it will dry the color of the actual antler um, because there will be a slight, very slight gap and there will be some impressions. Now, not everybody has access to antlers. Uh, this is actually a water buffalo horn. I got this out of the section of Walmart that has dog chews, so the, the pet section, basically. Um, and they also have, um, oftentimes, deer antlers, uh, but I've seen some elk tines for sale that would work great for this particular project. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get started. I'm just going to take my flat bastard file and continue uh, just blunting this edge where I cut the base of the antler off. And uh, we're just gonna keep smoothing that over. You know, I'm not aiming for perfection, uh, just trying to keep it rounded, just no sharp edges. And the pedicle or pedestal, I uh, thought it'd be interesting to possibly do some kind of carving down here. Maybe a face, maybe a flower, something like that. Something unique. I'm just going to smooth out this top here. Um, the hole I left kind of coarse, again, because I wanted the epoxy to have something uh, to really grab onto uh, once the brass pin gets inserted. Um, and uh, I think it's going to work out great. Um, and like I said, adding those grooves, you really do give a, uh, a surface for that, for that epoxy to stick to. And uh, even the dry fit, I mean, it's fitting in there tight. It doesn't want to come back out. And that's what you want. You still want enough room for that epoxy, though. You don't want it too tight. Um, and of course, the store-bought one is a little bit longer than mine. 
uh, but I think, uh, you know, story of my life, three and a half inches is suitable. Either way, I think this is going to be an awesome project. So we're going to go ahead. I found a piece of 220 sandpaper. We're just going to slick up the, the file marks um, and just continue to blend that. Um, I think it'll, it'll come out and be even nicer. Uh, just a little bit of an attention to detail here. Yeah, that feels great. Nice and slick. very slick feels good um, I think you know you kind of want it cleaned up because when you push it down the barrel it's gonna come in contact with the end of your muzzle so you probably don't want any sharp edges or any file marks that could uh, possibly mar your metal or scratch it up so I feel like cleaning it up like this is a good idea you know some some ball starters use a crotch of an antler like this and it has the brass dowel sticking out of the center of it which is cool um, it definitely works and then you have some that are more of a t-shape handle you know such as this and uh, those are also very nice but my original idea was to use the base of the antler as the ball starter it's nice and heavy which i like and then once you put that brass in there the whole thing overall is very sturdy, very heavy, and I think the weight of it alone will really help aid in uh, starting that ball and just make it super easy. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and take our epoxy here. I've got just a, a notebook, the back side of a notebook, and we're gonna squeeze some of this epoxy out. This is a two-part, again, it's a marine epoxy and I'm mostly just doing that again for the color aspect. When it dries, it will dry almost an off-white color that will blend in uh, with the antler. And that's really what I'm aiming for here. And this is what it looks like, just some Loctite Marine Epoxy. And I'm gonna go ahead and take my stick here and I'm gonna stir it up really well. I wanna make sure those two parts uh, get blended into each other. Uh, this will help aid in hardening correctly. All right, we're going to go ahead. We're going to scoop some of this epoxy off and put it on the end we're going to insert. And we're going to want to go ahead and be liberal with this. Ugh, I hate that word, liberal. But we're going to want to go ahead and get plenty of that on here. And uh, whatever, you know, once we insert it into the handle, the excess will get squeezed out anyway. Not a big deal. But that's looking pretty good. We should be good to go. So next, we're just going to grab our handle. We're going to insert it. Um, we're actually going to slide it in and out to make sure that we're getting epoxy pushed all the way to the base inside of there. And that's looking pretty good so far. Um, it's feeling good. Looks like we got enough in there. We should be good to go. And next, we're just going to take a paper towel and wipe off the excess. This is pretty much the easiest way to do this. Um, you know, you could use a rag or something, but I just don't want to waste any good rags. So it makes sense to use a paper towel. You can just wipe it up and throw it away when you're done. Yeah, it's looking pretty good so far. Um, I'm going to take a little bit more epoxy and just make a bead around the base of that brass. Um, there are some voids um, in the center of that antler. Uh, when I drilled it out, it created some voids. And as this epoxy dries, I think it's going to shrink a little bit. 
Uh, so I just want to make sure there's enough there that as it shrinks, um, it fills in those voids evenly. And now I'm going to take my folded piece of sandpaper with the smooth side out. And I'm just going to basically use it as a, uh, a scraper just to kind of blend the excess the epoxy that's on top there. Keeping just make it smooth and neat looking. Voids. That looks pretty good. All right, so as you can see here, we pretty much got it situated. Um, you know, it, it looks good. And like I said, it will dry to match the color of that antler. Um, and we're going to go ahead and uh, let this dry for two hours and we'll come back. All right, guys, we let it set up for two hours and uh, it looks really good. It's nice and solid. Um, it may take until tomorrow um, for the actual color to blend a little bit better it does take a little more time you can see down here at the base but all in all i'm thoroughly pleased um and i'm really looking forward to using it you'll definitely see me using it in videos this fall um, i should have a shooting video coming up here shortly um you know i'm i may even uh i may even dimple the base here uh, where it seats the ball, but I don't really find that necessary. Um, I think, you know, like, like the store-bought one here, um, the collar it has on it, it's dimpled and it does seat nicely, but the collar here, uh, I feel like it grabs the patch sometimes when you're trying to pull the ball starter back out. So I like the idea of a slick uh, brass dowel here that doesn't have anything to grab on that patch when you're pulling it out. But like I said, all in all, I'm super pleased, and I think it'll bring me years of fun.